सो है गाइज एंड दिस इज बाल कृष्णा फ्रॉम डिजिटल कैट ट्रेनिंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी दिस कैट टेस्ट सो दिस इज बेसिक कैट टेस्ट यू कैन सी सो इन दिस कैट टेस्ट लाइक फॉर इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर सो वेन यू गो फॉर एन इंटरव्यू सो कंपनी विल गिव यू दिस टाइप ऑफ कैट टेस्ट ओके सो दे विल गिव यू ड्रॉइंग एंड यू हैव टू क्रिएट द पार्ट ओके सो if you are using any software like cad software 3d software okay so you have to follow the same procedure so they will ask you like they have given this drawing and they have mentioned some details so you have to read it so this is part thickness they have given 2.5 mm then radius uh, like uh, 5 mm then time for your, this cad test is 15 minutes and they have mentioned specifically use of the boolean operations okay so if you are using the katia you already know the what are the boolean operations in ugnx also there are different types of boolean operations you can use okay so i am going to solve this cat test on the katia software okay and uh, this cat test is uh, like uh, going for like our time is 15 minutes so we have to solve this whole cat test in a 15 minutes only okay so uh we'll see one by one like uh, we will jump onto the katia screen so i'm using the software katia to solve this cat test okay so uh, first uh, in katia we have to create the rectangle of 190 and 90 and then we'll pad it by 25 mm okay and we will use the boolean operation so we'll see one by one so i'm jumping onto my katia screen right now okay so <clears throat> this is my gadia screen and this is my part body only okay so what i am going to do first is i will create the sketch of 190 by 90 okay rectangle so simply click on the position sketch will take and i will select this i will click okay so now i will shift into the my sketcher workbench so now i will select the rectangle center rectangle click here place it length is 190 and this dimension is 90 okay as per our drawing so if you see the drawing you can see this is 190 and this is 90 okay so we will exit the workbench to make it solid by 25 mm so exit the workbench okay and now i am going to pad it so this dimension in reverse we will pad by 25 mm okay so this is some basic rectangle is form okay so now what i am going to do i will give the radius so radius they have mentioned that is 5 mm so we will give the radius of 5 mm for all the edges so i am taking the edge fillet command i will select all the edges okay and just click okay and then also bottom so again i will select the edge fillet and select all the four edges it will automatically select just click okay so now your solid body with uh your edge fillets is completed okay so now next things we have to maintain the 2.5 mm thickness so they have given like this insert thickness is 2.5 mm part thickness so we will uh, shell it our part by 2.5 mm so like we will get our part thickness so i will use the shell command so in ugnx there is a different command in any software which you are using the same command command name is different but the operation will be same so i will use that 2.5 mm so you can see now my part thickness of 2.5 mm is created okay so now this basic things are completed so now we have to use the boolean operations as per 
they have given so i will rename it this part body name as a main body because we are use, uh, using the different types of body to create this feature so this is my main body and now i will insert new body again so body 2 i have inserted here so body 2 is our second feature if you see like this uh, for this feature we are going to create first okay so uh, this feature like uh, at what dimensions we can assume it okay so uh, only they we and they need is like how we are uh, approaching for boolean operations so if you don't have a dimension here you can assume it okay so what we will go uh, we are we are going to do uh, we'll create that portion first so what i will do i will select and define this body too okay and i will select this plane so you can select face also like if you see on the here so it this feature is above 7m like uh, from the upper edge of this feature like first body okay so here 7 m 7 uh, mm is height difference between these two okay so what i am going to do i will create first the rectangle on this plane directly okay so i will select this feature again with the position sketch so all the works are going into the body too okay so i will select another rectangle type so this type of rectangle will randomly die draw and then i will assume the uh, distance here because they have not given so we'll assume it as the 40 mm okay and uh, next thing is like uh, you can decide this this is you can see this is 15 mm so uh, the part thickness is 2.5 2.5 okay so we'll take it as a 20 mm so complete is 20 mm complete uh, width is 20 mm okay and then next what we are going to see uh, going to do is like this line and this line we will go into get a coincidence again this line and this line will be coincidence okay so this feature is fully constrained now so i will exit the workbench okay and now we will pad it so uh, from this edge it is 7 mm you can see this is 7 mm difference so what i will do i will select this pad command again and i will select this from uh, <coughs> from this edge it is 7 mm so i will select the 7 mm okay and the uh, uh, dimension 2 like second limit will can take in like more from this body because we are going to union trim it okay so i will select okay so now the first condition that is it is by 7 mm more okay so that is uh, the difference between these two so i, I have created the 7 mm like we have given the more dimension here more length like uh, more material that is for 7 mm from the height okay so again i will define this body too and we will give first fillets so select the fillets okay the fillet is 5 mm so we will select these edges that is four edges okay this is uh, our fillets that is uh, 5 mm okay and uh, now also like if you see here the fillets uh, we required only these two we don't require these fillets so we'll remove it okay only these fillets we require and then now i am going to shell it again so i will select the shell command by 2.5 so this face this face and this face i am going to select so now it is created like 2.5 mm so this is second 
different features and this is main body okay so now we have to merge it for merging we are going to use the uh, our union trim operation op operation from boolean operations so this is the first boolean operations we are going to use that is our union trim so right click so first uh, define the main body because all the operations we are going to merge this body into the main body that's why so now right click here go to the object and select the union trim operations so in union trim you can select like faces to remove so we have to remove this bottom face this bottom face and this portion okay and just click it okay so now you will get your result like this as per the drawing first feature is created okay with the height of 7 mm so this first portion it's completed you can see trim operation is added into your main body so again now next feature so next feature is like this feature so again they have not given the dimensions only they have given the feature okay so we have to assume it because they have to they are going to check your boolean uh, approach not uh, dimensions because if you they uh, if they give the dimension you can perfectly because you know the basic thing so you can directly give the dimension you can create so how you are approaching the boolean operation that's uh, they want only so again insert uh, the new body okay and the select the again position sketch select now we have shifted into the uh, sketcher workbench so now i am going to create the rectangle here okay so we have to assume the dimensions so we'll assume it from here center line like this like uh, 25 mm and uh, then this edge to this edge we will maintain some 25 mm again okay and then we'll give this complete dimensions of 35 mm and then we will make it coincidence so this is done now again exit your workbench okay and again this is you can see there is a no uh, you can see there is a no height difference so it is already merged uh, so we can directly pad it in the single di direction so we'll reverse it and make it 25 mm more than 25 mm we'll take because we are going to union trim it again so just click ok and give the fillets so define this fillets is 5 mm so we'll give the fillets so this one two and three that is 5 mm so just click ok okay and these edges also we have to give the fillets so we'll select again this portion this edge and this edge click ok okay so now it is okay it is looking okay so now we'll shell it again so shell because we have to maintain the 2.5 mm thickness so this portion and this portion 2.5 mm so this is new body it's created here so now we are going to again union trim it so again define your main body right click union trim okay so here <coughs> faces sorry right click this union trim so faces to uh, remove is this face then this face and this face okay and this bottom portion also just click ok so now you can see your feature is created like this as per your drawing you can see as per your drawing in 3d people also you can see like this okay so in this uh, cat test we have uh, we uh, used the boolean operations that is union trim so add and remove are simples like simply you can add and remove but union trims you have to understand which portion you have to remove and which portion you have to keep okay and that uh, basis you can solve this cat test so this is now completed 
so within a period like of 15 minutes we have to complete okay so that's it for this uh, cat test so this is a basic cat test you can practice uh, the all the boolean operations like add remove union trims like that so if you haven't you cannot find the boolean operations you just simply go here and here is the boolean operations toolbar so you can practice this boolean operations this is assemble then add remove uh, intersect and union trim and remove them okay one by one so this approach company uh, when you go for cat test they want this type of approaches okay and you have to solve the cat test within a uh, given time period okay so that's it for this cat test so this is first basic cat test video so please subscribe our channel for more cat test videos and interview preparations okay so if uh, we'll see the next cat test the level 2 okay in the next video so that's it for this video so this is our first video from our cat test series okay so if you like the cat test series please subscribe the channel okay so thank